All right, hello, I am Matt Rhoda, and uh, welcome to the May Town Hall with Mr. Richard Salee, broadcasting teacher here at Frankfurt High School. I wanted to bring Mr. Salee on the Town Hall this month because he and his students have produced all of the Town Halls this year, Roaming with Rhoda, Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts, Tradition of Excellence, and Future Fridays. While this seems like a lot, it only scratches the surface of what Mr. Slee's program does for the students at Frankfurt High School and the community. He also is gearing up for the big Frankfurt High School graduation production coming up here on May 25th. I want to know, I want the community to know everything that goes into producing this one event in partnership with Casper Broadcasting. Mr. Salee, welcome to the uh, the town hall today. Well, thank you. This is a little different. You being in front of the camera, you're not usually in front of the camera. You're yeah, usually behind the camera. Nerves are a little bit different when you're on this side of the camera. Can you share with the hot dog community your role here at Frankfurt High School? Um, as a broadcasting teacher, we start with the intro level classes, basically preparing kids for the morning announcements or our sports broadcasting. Um, we also do we video or broadcast musicals, plays, music concerts, award ceremonies, even little things like the shooting star that's in our cafeteria. Oh yeah. Um, we also help Carla Rennick with the front sign with graphics, uh, Mr. Niehaus with all the athletic graphics. Um, anything that involves media typically comes through my students and myself, uh, you know, just on a daily basis. In addition to the things that I just read off, those a lot of those just came this year. Tradition Excellence, you started last year, yeah. but all of these other things, I mean, occupy the, the, a lot during the day. So you and your kids do a lot for the school. And me and Mr. Taylor just partnered too. Last year we did a short films class, uh, which was a lot of fun partnering with the theater uh, students. And then my kids were able to help with the video side. And then this year we, we started the Canine Corner, which is a talk show. Oh, yeah. So more entertainment than just the news. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, so we're doing entertainment, sports, and then, our, you know, the morning news. Your kids have an opportunity. They're really diversifying their portfolio and the things they're getting experiences in here. Oh, absolutely. And we, and we have more students. This year, I think we have five students uh, continuing their broadcast education after high school. So five, five of them going on. And I know that we had at least one graduate from Ball State, another one who should graduate next year from Ball State, and then one from Purdue this last weekend. Okay, you've mentioned a lot that uh, you and your students have produced. Is there anything else that you've uh, mentioned that you haven't mentioned yet of what you and your students produce here at the uh, high school? Uh, anything you see on the Hot Dog Network. The only thing that we don't actually have a whole lot of hands in is we have some, we do, if we don't broadcast a sporting event with uh, Mr. Niehaus having the huddle cameras, we actually produce the the game without commentary through okay. a huddle camera, so an automatic camera. Okay. Um, but everything else that goes on the Hot Dog Network comes right through our student body. All right, great. Well, this is a good time for a break, to break towards Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts. And we, when we come back, uh, we'll talk a lot about uh, graduation and what it takes to produce the Frankfurt High School graduation. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Hot Dogs. We just wrapped up another year at Frankfurt High School as we graduated the class of 2024. As they embark on their own personal journey, it's a reminder of all the wonderful graduates we've had before them. Those of you out there now in our community who have become presidents of your own company, worked at local businesses, worked in healthcare and other fields that support all of us in some way. Some of you have become rock stars, others have become presidents of your own company. It's a reminder of the tradition of excellence that we continue to have here at Frankfurt High School. We thank our graduates and we wish them the best. As we think about graduates that have left Frankfurt, I'd like to talk about two graduates, John and Tony Reyes, graduates of the class of 1995. Recently, John and Tony have joined in a partnership to help save a local business here in Frankfurt, Glover's Ice Cream. Glover's Ice Cream was established in 1925 and was one of five ice cream manufacturers here in Frankfurt, Indiana. Currently, it's the last one remaining, and we thank graduates and their partners for embarking on a journey to help save something like Glover's Ice Cream here in Frankfurt, Indiana. It's the pride of the community that people like John and Tony help us strive for and continue to make Frankfurt a great place. That's it for Farley's Fun Facts. Have a great day, hot dogs. Welcome back to the uh, May Town Hall with Mr. Richard Salee, broadcast teacher here at Frankfurt High School. Mr. Salee, can you talk a little bit about 
uh, your partnership, our partnership with ISC Sports and Casper Broadcasting and, and how important these partnerships are as we talk about the high school redesign and apprenticeships coming up for your program. That's the really cool thing when I, when I started hearing about the apprenticeship programs is we're basically doing it in radio and TV already. Yeah. I mean, we, our students have apprenticeship program, we may not call it that, where they're working with ISC Sports Network and with uh, Wilo or Hoosier Land TV. Yes. Um, and both of them have different advantages working with those partnerships. Um, we get to work with a lot of broadcast professionals with uh, the ISC Sports Network. Um, students get to work along with like Greg Rakeshaw, Sean Walker, and many more. Um, and then with Hoosier Land, we get more opportunities for students to actually call the game. Where normally, when we're with ISC, they're running the cameras, the graphics, um, maybe the TriCaster or replay. Um, so we're building on that. And it, it's great, like Doug Wood, student who's running this broadcast right now, uh -huh. has worked with uh, ISC, has gone to Indy 11 games and, and been in the, in the booth with them. Uh, he's been on the show, the Query and Schultz show, mm. and helped in the, in the studio. Um, they're getting all kinds of opportunities because of those partnerships. Yes, they are. So as the, the, the redesign kind of comes down from the state, and I say that just about, you know, our, our high school as a whole, post-secondary expectations, that uh, we, are, we are on our way and working towards those apprenticeships. I know mm -hmm. George Everett, our director of uh, career and technical education, is really, and, and Josie Miller are going out looking for those partnerships, and you, you've had them well underway yeah. before we even started talking this way. We started working on that in 2017 is yeah. when we started talks great. with ISC Sports Network. So That's yeah, great. it's been a while. Uh, can you share with the community all of the preparations that go into from the broadcasting uh, hot dog network standpoint that you and your students uh, take part in to prepare for the Frankfurt High School graduation coming up here on May 25th? We've already started moving equipment around. Um, we had to go up in the crow's nest and pull all of our equipment down. Um, this year we're super excited. We're going to try to use our new PTZ cameras, which are ones that can be controlled from a remote control. Mm -hmm. um, they're very clear. I mean, they're crystal clear. They're, they give you a great picture. Um, so we think we're going to have a few more shots than we normally would. Um, and then next Monday, we roll all that equipment down into Case Arena okay. and, and get started on putting it together, testing it out. And then we will actually run our, our real test on Friday night before graduation with the award ceremony, okay. the senior award ceremony. Oh yeah. To make sure everything sounds good, the sound quality is gonna be where we want it, and the cameras are where we want them. So we, we do get a test run with the, you know, the award ceremony. What time is that, that senior award ceremony? Is that six o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock? Okay, yeah, so you get a test run with that before. Mm -hmm. And where can the community see uh, the actual live graduation ceremony that you and your, your kids produce because um, I know you live stream it, don't you? So yeah, you can find all of our stuff on the Hot Dog Network YouTube channel, um, and then also this year, along with the previous years, uh, Hoosierland TV partners with us. So it'll be the link will be on Hoosierland TV, and I'm sure uh, Casper Media will have it out on Clinton County Daily News okay. and all their different media outlets. So the community can see that on our YouTube Hot Dog Network YouTube channel, as well as uh, getting going into the Clinton County Daily News and getting on Hoosierland TV. Yes. All right, it's quite a production. Great, great work that you and your kids do and you've been uh, being able to put this system in place. It sounds like 2017 yep. was really when things started rolling yep. for you and your kids. So, uh, Hot Dog Community, I hope you enjoyed getting to know Mr. Slee and the great work he and his students are doing to promote the great things happening here at Frankfurt High School and in the community schools of Frankfurt. Uh, I leave you with three public service announcements uh, before signing off today. Due to a new state law that prohibits wireless communication in instructional spaces, with the exception for students with a medical need, next year students will not be allowed to take their headphones, earpods, cell phones, or smart watches into classrooms. Students will need to keep them in the, element, in the elementary school in their book bags and in the middle school and high school in their lockers. Students will be allowed during passing periods at the middle school and high school uh, to be able to get those out and at lunch to engage with their wireless devices, but they will not be allowed to be in instructional spaces. Also, the Indiana Department of Education approved a waiver for Frankfurt High School 
to have a late start next year. That late start will take place on Wednesday, and it'll start Wednesday, August 14th. School will start on Wednesday only next year at 9 o'clock a.m. More communication will be sent out from Frankfurt High School to our families about that late start Wednesday uh, throughout next year. And thirdly, uh, the elementary schools, currently they, the kids can come in the buildings at 745 and the tardy bell is at 810. Next year, again, you can get in, come into the buildings at 745, but our tardy bell will be at eight o'clock next year. And I wanted to get that message out here very, very soon so that uh, we know about our high school uh, or early uh, or late start days, as well as all of our elementary parents know that we're going to bump that up uh, 10 minutes so that kids need to be in the building by 8 o'clock starting next fall for elementary school. So uh, this is Matt Rhoda signing off from the uh, Frankfurt um, at Frankfurt High School with our Community Schools of Frankfurt Superintendent Town Hall. I hope all of you enjoyed uh, everything you heard today. And uh, next up, hope you enjoy Roaming with Rhoda. Thank you. This is Matt Rhoda, and I am here at the middle school for Roaming with Rhoda, a little special edition. I want to talk to our eighth graders today about their thoughts about leaving the middle school, heading to the high school. I have with me Mr. Marshall, assistant principal, and Mr. Coffey, athletic director. And I'd like them just to share a little bit about uh, uh, the ceremony last night we had for eighth grade and their thoughts uh, on this last day of school this school year. Mr. Marshall? Sure, so the ceremony went went off without a hitch. I wanna thank our eighth grade students and our eighth grade teachers for putting that together. Last 20 minutes before we went into rehearsal, we decided because of lack of air conditioning in the middle school to switch it to the high school and they were gracious enough to help us. Uh, kids did wonderful. It was nice to see them excited about it. Thank you, Mr. Marshall. Mr. Coffey, your thoughts about last night and this uh, last day of school? Yeah, the echo, Mr. Marshall, last night went great. Uh, this morning was really cool for the eighth graders to be able to do their last walk around the building and, and get to see all of them. They were really excited and emotional to have their last walk around the building. Ready to be in high school next year. All right, thank you guys, appreciate it. You were on Roaming with Rhoda, and I'd like to ask you, are you an eighth grader here at the middle school? Yeah. And what is your name? Natalie. Natalie, on your last day of middle school, what are your thoughts about going to the high school next year? What are you looking forward to? Just more freedom. Uh, well, I'm excited to make new friends, you know, like new start. Okay, and what are you excited about next year? Uh, for the sports teams. The sports teams. Yeah. What sport do you play? Oh, cross country, track. Cross country and track. All right, great. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Everything, you know, my cousins, you know, hang out with the fam, chill out, you know. There's some new things. All right. Hi, Melly. My sister watches this. All right, great. Thank you. A new place to start new, fresh year. All right, thank you. And Sydney, uh, what are you looking forward to about the uh, going to the high school next year? The sports. The sports. Yeah. What sport do you play? Track, wrestling, and soccer. All right. Okay, good, lu good luck with that. All right, all right. And Andy, what are you looking forward to about going to the high school next year? Um, the sports and uh, new people to meet. Okay. All right, have a great year. And Maria Rose, what are you looking forward to about going to the high school next year? The lockers. The lockers, okay, that's an interesting one. Maria Rose, enjoy the lockers next year. Thank you. Uh -huh. Jonathan, what are you looking forward to about going to the high school next year? Uh, trying to get good grades, you know, I'm trying, to, trying to get locked in. I love it, good grades and locked in. Thanks, Jonathan. Leo, what are you looking forward to about going to high school next year? Uh, the teachers, the student, I'm trying to see All right. how it is. Do you have any teachers in mind that you've heard good things about that you're ready to be in class with next year? Uh, not yet. Okay. They've got great teachers over there just like the middle school. Good luck. All right. Thank you. You're on Roaming with Rhoda. What is your first name? Uh, Giovanni. And what are you looking forward to about going to high school next year? Like Definitely like more classes and like the food. Okay, and the food, did you say? Yeah. All right, okay, that food service, looking forward to you coming. Jesus, what are you looking forward to about next year at the high school? Uh, like how big the school is, since it's going to be much bigger than uh, the middle school. 
Got a lot of eighth graders here all lined up about going to the high school next year. What are your feelings about this last day of school and uh, ceremony last night? Wow, I was really impressed with them at the ceremony last night, actually. They did a great job. I think that also may have been the quietest I've ever seen them their entire three years here. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, it is true, isn't it? All right. Yeah, no, Thank they did a great job. I was very proud. Thank you, Mrs. Brenda. You're on Roaming with Rhoda. What is your first name? Christian. Christian, what are you looking forward to about the high school next year? I mean, get good grades. Diego, what are you looking forward to about the high school next year? The lunch and getting new friends. The lunch and getting new friends. Boy, the the, uh, the lunch must be uh, uh, talked about over here. They must have some good food at the high school. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Edwin, what are you looking forward to about the high school next year? Um, just new friends, lunch, and... Uh, some of the teachers. All right, some of the teachers. That's three for the lunch. Thank you, Edwin. Appreciate it. Football and wrestling. All right, all right. Enjoy that. Uh, I'm looking forward to learning about new things and soccer. <laughs> and soccer. All right. Good luck with soccer and learning new things. Looking forward to the sports. The sports. What sport do you play? I play football, wrestling, track. Football, wrestling, and track. You got a full year. Have a great year. Good luck to you. All right. <laughs> Football and wrestling. Football and wrestling. Good luck to you. Uh, Mauricio, what are you looking forward to at the high school next year? Sports and getting good grades. What sports are you going to play? Soccer, wrestling. So soccer and wrestling. What grades are you going to get? A's and B's. A's and B's. I love it. All right. Great. Uriel, what are you looking forward to about next year at the high school? Sports and good grades. And what sports do you play? I play soccer and, and I'm going to play baseball as well. Baseball as well. I love it. Student athlete, right? Sports and grades. Love to hear it. Okay. Good luck. Aline, what are you looking forward to about going to high school next year? The high school, mostly sports and the teachers. Like. And what sports are you going to play? Soccer, track, and that's all. And that's all. And what kind of grades are you going to get next year? A's and B's like A always. A's and B's like always. I love it. Thank you. And, and what are you looking forward to about next year at the high school? Um, getting good grades. Okay. Anything else? No. And that's the focus. I love it. Conchito, what are you looking forward to next year at the high school? Um, probably getting better friends. Getting better friends. Okay, better friends. And uh, I, I like to hear that. All right. And hopefully better friends and great grades, right? Yeah. Okay. Th thank you. Jasmine, what are you looking forward to about the high school uh, next year? Uh, meeting new people. Meeting new people. Anything else? Um, better grades too. Better grades too. Keep improving. Way to go. Love it. We've got a, an awards winner here. Uh, you got a lot of awards last night, didn't you? What is your name? Savariana. Savariana. Tavariana. So, Tavariana. Tavariana. What awards did you get last night? Because I saw you come up quite a bit. Uh, I got the David, Dave a Clark word, award. Yeah, I yeah. got that, Dave. Clark. Congratulations to you. What are you looking forward to about going to the high school next year? Sports, track and field, I'm looking forward to get a record, to break our record again. Okay, what are you going to break the record in? Uh, the 100 meter dash. Okay, do you think I could beat you? No. Okay, maybe we'll have to race you next year. Maybe. All right, good luck to you. Thank you. Uh -huh.